Hi, my name is Jeff Blyther, and I'm a senior sales engineer at OpenGear. A quick disclaimer, this demonstration will assume you have a basic understanding of NTP, Lighthouse, the OpenGear central management solution, and the OM appliance. So today I'm going to show you how to configure Network Time Protocol, or NTP, on both Lighthouse as well as the OpenGear appliance. While we may all agree NTP is a fairly mundane subject, it nevertheless is an important step in the configuration of any infrastructure device. As for Open Gear products, it is a very important step in the enrollment process of an Open Gear appliance into Lighthouse. There are certificates that are passed between the appliance and Lighthouse. Therefore, time accuracy is important. Now we understand the importance of NTP to Open Gear, so let's get it set up. So we'll start right here in Lighthouse. At the dashboard, you'll click Settings, Date and Time, Time Zone, and let's enter our Time Zone, and click Apply. Then we're going to go up to Automatic Settings, and this is where we put in our NTP server. Now, if you don't have your own NTP server and you're looking for a public one, a good resource is right here, pool.ntp.org. And then you'll see there are several servers that you can choose from. I'm going to use the US Pool NTP org server. So we'll click Enable, Add Server, and then put in US Pool. Dot ntp dot org. Click apply. And that's it. You have now set up NTP for Lighthouse. Now to confirm that our time is now correct, let's go to the CLI. Manage Lighthouse Local Terminal. We'll log in with our root permissions. And we can use cron yc tracking. And we can see that the time and the date is all correct. We can also use sources to verify our NTP server. Now let's configure NTP on the Open Gear appliance. From the Lighthouse dashboard, let's go down to our enrolled nodes and I'll pick OM2216-L. Click the monitor to the far right. This will take me to the login page of this OM. Put in my credentials. From here we'll go to configure system date and time. Let's configure our time zone for the appropriate location and then click NTP. Then click add NTP server. And here's where you would actually enter your NTP server. Before we do that there is also an authentication key you could send to this NTP server if required. Your key goes here, your index here, your format is either ASCII or HEX and then your appropriate hash key right here. But we're not going to use a authentication key for this demonstration, so let's just put in our NTP server here and click NTP settings. Apply. Okay, let's jump into the CLI real quick and we'll confirm that our NTP settings are working. And we can use the same commands that we did in Lighthouse, which are cron yc tracking. This validates that our time is correct and cronyc sources will show us our NTP server. Legitimate NTP server, perfect. All right, now let's configure NTP from the CLI. All right, at the CLI, let's type config to go to our interactive configuration shell. So we'll just type config and we'll type help here and we'll see all the endpoints. And notice here under system is 
time zone, that's a good place to start. Let's set our time zone. So let's type system time zone. And then if we type time zone value, we should see all the time zone values that we can select from. Okay, and there's all of our time zones. So we have to make sure we get the syntax right. So uppercase America slash Los Angeles with an underbar between. So let's go back to time zone America slash loss under Angeles. Good. Okay, now let's write apply to send this to memory and we'll type show just to confirm. There we go, our NTP time zone is now set. Now we'll configure our NTP server. So if you type up, you'll go up a step. And if you type help here, you would find out that the NTP server is under services. So we'll go to services, NTP. So by default, this is disabled. So we'll enable it to start. And we just type enabled true. Now we'll add our NTP server. To do that, you type servers. And you type servers because you can actually configure more than one server. Then we type add, and then value, and then your NTP server. And then another show. Now let's type apply to write it to memory. And one more show for good measure. Beautiful. OK, to summarize, we logged into Lighthouse, and we configured NTP from its web UI. Then we logged into the Open Gear Appliance and configured NTP from its web UI as well as the CLI. I hope you found this demonstration useful. Please hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel and watch for more feature demonstrations. Thank you.